Good morning, everybody. This is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship, and welcome to the Ranch Road. Let's get the old Chevy cranked up here. We'll head over to the ranch, and uh, today I'm going to talk about a question that was just presented to me. Actually, it's been presented to me several times throughout my career. Well, ever since we had a website, anyway. Um, a, a while back, I kind of got to thinking, you know, what was some of the things that might have distinguished me from being different from some other trainers and clinicians and people who basically travel around and and uh, and help other people with their horses and and uh, and I really felt like the thing that was uh, that really helped me the most was a, a sense of empathy and, and what do I mean by that in regard to horsemanship well what I mean about that in regard to horsemanship is um, and it even says it on my website that I train from the horse's perspective and what might that mean well it means that, and maybe this goes back to me being an only child. But when I was a when I was a kid growing up, you know, we had a horse facility and cattle and all that sort of thing. And um, I didn't have brothers and sisters to play around with. So if school wasn't going on, the horses and the animals around the ranch and around the, the horse facility there, they were kind of my training tools, my playmates, uh, my. <laughs> things of observation. I mean, I would just go out sometimes and just sit and watch them. And, uh, and I began to watch how they interacted. I began to watch how, like, for example, we used to raise a pig to, to, to feed out and eat every year. And I'd go and sit for hours and just watch that pig. <laughs> and my mom used to get tickled. I'd go out there and I'd actually train it. You know, I had that darn pig trained to, to lay down and sit and do all that. And, and, uh, so I just, a lot of time with the animals and observe and observing them and, and uh, in the same way with my dogs, you know, just always playing with the dogs. And I think I began to sense a lot of what what they were, what, what their environment was like, how they perceived things, how they reacted, and how they responded to things. Just that that sense of knowing and awareness of of what they were, you know. And and uh, most importantly, when I when I say what they were, I, I obviously noticed that man, cows sure act different than horses. And horses sure act different than pigs. My dog act, don't act like any of them. They all had their characteristics and their different characteristics. And, and the, the, the real cool part about that was, is I learned years later through watching a fella uh, on, on TV, you guys might be familiar with the dog whisperer. Well, in the dog whisperer, I love how he points out that first and foremost, we have to realize that the animals that we work with are first animals and in his case animals dogs breed and then finally their their name in other words what is their personality what is that what is that what is that dog's personality i think the same thing goes with horses i think first and foremost we tend to forget first that horses are horses uh, they're animals and they're horses they're going to act and do things like animals and horses do no matter what and then of course, we've got certain breed characteristics. And those of us who work with various bloodlines within certain breeds know that there's a, uh, oh, maybe some Hancock type horses might act slightly different than maybe some of our old Pepto Boonsmall type horses. And so in other words, we, we know that there are certain characteristics within breeds, but then lastly is that personality. But you see, whenever I'm working with a horse, I, I really try to focus on training from that horse's perspective in keeping in mind those priorities. And if it doesn't make sense to me from their perspective, I probably don't try to do it. But I also don't try to put my perspective onto them. I don't try to treat them like humans. They, they learn different than humans. The cool part is, is that luckily, there are certain things uh, that horses look for in us that we also, whether we know it or not, we look for in other people, such as leadership. Horses need leadership. And they need that from us in such a way, way beyond what we give give it credit for. And and uh, and I'm never opposed to young folks working with horses. The question that I have for those uh, adults that are hopefully hopefully mentoring those young folks is: Are you helping that young folk develop leadership qualities? And those leadership qualities are so incredibly important to train from that horse's perspective because that's what that horse is looking for. The minute that you separate that horse from its other animals, its other horses, it's looking for the leader. And if you're not going to be it, they might step to the plate and be it. So whenever I'm asked, you know, what kind of separated me from 
some other things. I think first and foremost, it was the empathy and training from that horse's perspective. And then working over the years and continually working to study and, and figure out those horses from, for what they are, horses. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Well, I'm here at the front gate. Uh, it's happened to be closed today, so I'm going to go ahead and stop for today and tell you guys again how much I appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you for joining me on the Ranch Road. And until next time, this is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship.